And then the last change that's truly a new functionality inside of AutoCAD is a series of enhancements to layer property overrides. So you may have noticed in AutoCAD 2018 that when you created a layer property override for a override that you created for a layout viewport that you placed on a on a layout that you saw some hints if you opened up the layer property manager to let you know that you had made an override, you had made a change to the way layers were going to be displayed in that viewport. You can now also, when you create an override to, a, to an external reference or an override to the visual properties, so these are uh, the color, the line type, the line weight, or the transparency of any layer associated with a viewport or an external reference, you, there is now a special icon that appears in the Layer Properties Manager, and when you hover the cursor over that icon, or any of the, the, uh, the layer name or any of those visual properties, a tooltip shows up in the Layer Properties Manager that shows you exactly what override you applied. So for example, if you change the color of the external reference layer. It will now show you show you that you have applied a color override. So it'll show you what the color of that layer was originally defined as, as well as the color that you've overridden. And then you can use the right click shortcut menu to quickly reverse or revert any of those overrides back to their default if you so desire. You also get a colored background applied to any layer and any visual property override that has been applied to anything that shows up in the Layer Properties Manager. And there's now enhancements to the Layer Settings dialog that enables you to apply different colors. So perhaps you want to be able to quickly see whether the Layer Property override was, a, was an override that was applied to an external reference or applied to the visual property of a a viewport, and so you can actually have those show up color-coded with the backgrounds being two different colors. When you use the Layer Filters panel inside the Layer Properties Manager now, in addition to the filter that has always been there that shows you the list of all the layers that have been used, and then you can click Invert and it'll show you all the layers that haven't been used, there's now a new layer property filter that will show up if any overrides have been applied. So you can quickly filter that list and see only the layer overrides that have been assigned to either viewports or external references.